Hi, I'm Representative Jonathan Brostoff, and today we're going to talk about universal background checks. More specifically, the fact that we just had a legislative session and every single Republican voted against universal background checks. Well, of course, every single Democrat voted for it. Now, this is such an extreme indicator of where our society is at right now. The fact that after all these shootings, after all this mass violence, after everything going on, the one thing that all Americans basically agree on, over 90%, is that we need universal background checks and that the stranglehold of the NRA, both at the state and federal level, is so strong that not even one Republican could vote for something that 90-plus percent of Americans, of Wisconsinites, believe in, universal background checks. Disgusting. We're also in a situation where all these false dichotomies and ridiculous arguments are thrown out there. Oh, it's the video games and the movies and blah, 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 blah. And that's what causes the violence. I'll tell you something, my friends. Video games do not kill people. Guns kill people. And the fact that the base level of protections we can offer, universal background checks, couldn't even get one Republican to vote for it just shows how far we have to go. Now, the other argument made very frequently is, well, it's not going to solve everything. It's not going to solve everything. If we pass universal background checks, there will be some shootings that still happen and some mass shootings that still get executed. Well, you know what? That's not how we approach any other policy. When we're taking on issues like Alzheimer's and dementia care, we don't say, well, if we pass uh, a you know, tax credit for families that are taking care of folks with dementia, uh, that's not going to solve the whole issue. We still need research money. We still need other things to proactively attack the disease. That's not what we do. We say this is one little piece of a multifaceted approach that we need to address a significant societal issue. Let's do that. Let's do other stuff. They're not mutually exclusive. Let's move forward. The difference is the NRA has created a paradigm where they get you stuck in these little side arguments where if we don't do everything, we can't do anything, which is ridiculous. It's not how we approach any other piece of legislation. But the NRA's goal is not to create better legislation or even to save people's lives or to help people. The NRA's goal is to execute the wishes of their biggest donors to continue producing and selling weapons of war and making sure that the 75% of dollars that they're getting from gun manufacturers is going to putting more guns on the street so they can make more money. And true enough, the NRA has a stranglehold on the conversation, at least among some circles. But why is that? It's because we give them the power. We, politicians, we, state legislators and congresspeople and senators, we give them the power to do that. So, too, we can take the power away. All it takes is for other elected officials to stand up to the NRA and it's doable. I'm literally doing it right now. They might come after me and they might come after you, but they know that they are only powerful if the fear that they put upon us is able to drive our policy making. So I'm asking my other state legislators during this moment of crisis in our country where mass shootings have become an unfortunate epidemic that is uh, brutalizing and terrorizing our communities to stand up to the NRA and say, no way, universal background check should be the basic number one move that all of us can get behind. But beyond that, there's a lot more work to be, do, to be done, and we have to stand up to the NRA together and say we're not going to let them bully, it, bully us anymore. You know what's right. I know what's right. Let's get to work. Thank you very much.